there has been recently an update to the Gutenberg plugin for WordPress, which takes care of an issue uh, that you probably might could would encounter when using the BibleGet plugin for um, WordPress if you're trying to use the new Gutenberg block. Um, let's take a look at what the situation is. If we go to the back end, let's go to Bible Get, back end, posts, add new post. So on your own WordPress website, let's say you've installed the Bible Get plugin for WordPress. You want to add a Bible quote, and the example is showing just fine. But then say you want to quote not only from NABRE and NVBSE, but you want to add the Vulgata Clementina to that. And that's working, but let's add another one. Chade. Oh, look at that. It's not loading anymore. Error loading block. The response is not a valid JSON response. What's going on here? It's because there's too much information that's being passed through a GET request. I'm sure we can see this in our network developer tools. Uh, this error is from another plugin. Uh, let's not worry about that right now. If we look at our network requests, let's reload our page so we can make sure we're registering the network requests. You can see all the network requests here. Let's Try adding the block again, Bible quote, and try adding a few more additions here. Whoops, I'm holding the wrong key. Uh, control click, control click, control click, and error. If you look in your network requests, you'll see this red fetch request. If we click on the status is 502 instead of 200. If you click on it, bad gateway. So what's going on here? Look at the request URL in the headers here. Headers and request body. Request URL. It's a huge URL. Method request get. So all of the information is going through the URL in a get request. And it's just too, in, too much information for the Nginx server to handle. Um, one way to deal with that would be to change your server settings in order to be able to buffer more information through the URL. But there's another solution now. And this situation has been handled. Um, a few of us developers have requested to be able to use post requests instead of get requests for the Gutenberg blocks. And that should soon be available in the WordPress core, but in the meantime, it's already available in the Gutenberg plugin. So how do we deal with this situation until it's integrated into the WordPress core? If you go to your plugins, add new, and search for Gutenberg. Here's the Gutenberg plugin, which this is kind of like the preview version of what will then be integrated into the WordPress core. So go ahead and install the Gutenberg plugin. With one of the last updates, you can see this was updated four days ago. And I think just a few days before that, it's been like a couple of weeks now, um, this feature that we requested has been integrated into the Gutenberg plugin. Okay, I've installed it and I've activated it. Let's try going back to our posts. Let's go to this draft post that we were working on. And look, all of a sudden it's working. NABRE, DRB, Lutzi, Che, 
that'll solve a lot of issues also with um, oh what happened there <laughs> there's always something interesting happening the Bible version is showing up funny in any case that will take care of some of the issues with trying to change some of the styling options maybe they weren't all getting saved or synchronizing if you, especially if you're using options also in the wordpress customizer the options set here should be synchronized with the customizer and vice versa maybe that wasn't always happening that was because of this same issue so now that um, if you install the latest update of the gutenberg plugin that should take care of those issues and now you'll be able to uh, do complex requests with a lot of data you'll be able to synchronize all of the settings without any problems now hopefully this will soon be integrated into the wordpress core so you don't have to worry about installing the plugin thank you for using the bible get plugin for wordpress if you do look at now the network requests admin ajax i believe this was it right here um this was a post request and the information that was sent yes a bible get no that's the cookie form data heartbeat okay i don't think that was it admin ajax maybe this was it this was a post request if we look at the form data no that was monster insights um well we can do this easy enough just go and change whatever happened here <laughs> that is so weird um let's make another request here john 3 16. okay now we have quite a big quote with a lot of data if we look at our okay bible quote that that's our request right there request method is now post if we look at the request headers the url is um, Oh, the request URL is so much shorter now. Uh, go down to our query string parameters, hardly anything. Request payload. It's now all in the payload, which is going in the body of the request. So no more trouble with our Nginx server. Hopefully this will soon be integrated into WordPress core, maybe in WordPress 5.6 or one of the upcoming uh, minor updates thank you for using the bible get plugin for wordpress